It is a beautiful foggy morning here. It kind of makes me miss the foggy morning weather that we always had in Oregon. I'm sure it'll burn off pretty quick, so enjoy it while it lasts. Today I'm doing stuff to get ready to stretch the fence for our buck enclosure. There's always some work that you have to do before you can do the work. I've already done quite a bit and I didn't shoot video of it, so I'll just describe what I've done. From all the holes that I've dug for those fence posts, I was left with big piles of rock and dirt. I could just leave them in place and let the grass grow over them and they just sort of look like the regular uneven terrain around here, but I kind of wanted to make it look a little bit better than it was. So all of the loose rock that was easy to separate from the dirt, I put that in the front end loader of our tractor and I dumped it over in a low spot along the fence line where animals could have traversed back and forth between our neighbors and our place. Here's that low spot along the fence. The dirt, well, it's mostly dirt. There's always some gravel. I put into five gallon buckets and I dumped them into low spots in our yard. Just makes it easier for mowing. When I'm driving along, I don't like having tires dip way down into a kind of a divot. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to shovel out the gravel that's thoroughly mixed in with the dirt and I've got another spot to use that.
this is the middle passage that connects half of our pasture to the other half. There's some low spots in here that I'd like to put in that dirty gravel. Well, one bigger low spot in particular. But first, I'm gonna have to take care of this big branch that came down a little while back so I can get spider webs so I can get the tractor through to where I want to dump that gravel I want to put it clear down almost at the very end there
there's a low spot right here along the trail. I want to just kind of build that up a little so our main trail can be a little more flat going back all the way through the forest there. Hanging our gate here is something else that I want to do before I stretch the fence. I want to do that before because where these pins go and where the latch goes, I want to be able to put them right where I want them and not have to fight with the, the wrapped and stapled uh, fence wires. I've made a couple of marks right about where I want the, the pins to go in. To get those lined up, I used this two by four here to raise the gate up off the ground. Obviously we don't want the, the sweeping gate to, to hit the ground too much. I think I'll probably fudge up a little bit just to give myself a little extra, a little extra leeway that way. I made a mistake when I put these posts in. I thought I'd measured really carefully but these two posts are just too far apart for the gate. Too far apart is easier to deal with than too close together. I can shim it, but it's going to be a significant distance. So my challenge is going to be to make it look specifically like I wanted to do that and maybe make it even somewhat useful for us. I'm going to build a 2x4 kind of platform so we can actually, maybe when we're coming up to bring something in for the gate, we can set something up on top of that flat spot, open the gate, go in and grab it again. But before I build that, I want to actually hang the gate so I can measure it more precisely. These two pins that I'm going to be using, the bottom one will go like this. That way the gra gravity just takes the gate right down onto it and it sets there. The top one will fit like this. That way animals can't grab the gate with their horns or something and lift it up and knock it off its, knock it off its pins.
Got it. Okay. Excellent. So you can see how ridiculous the gap is, but I'll, I'll fix that. This particular gate had a piece of metal right here that prevented this special latch from being put on. We wanted this latch so the gate will just automatically latch shut when it's, when it's swung closed. Getting this off was not easy. This triangle piece here is what's in my way. That feels pretty good.
top shelf is a little bit wider to set things on. This gate is probably going to be one of the favorite places for our goats to rub against. So it's going to get a lot of pressure here. This is really sturdy with those two massive bolts. But I'm a little bit undecided at this point. I may have to come back and pound a T-post in to reinforce it. We'll just see how it goes. Clearing out the weeds and some of the logs here is another thing I want to do before we roll out the fence. So ideally, I'd have enough room to roll the fence out through here. You might think, well, look at all this space over here. Why don't I just roll the fence out on this side? For animal fencing, the fence itself has to go on the inside of the enclosure so when the goats are pressing up against it, they don't just slowly pull out those fence staples. battery.
Getting ready to do the work is sometimes a lot of work. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.